To me, suffrage means not backing down in the face of adversity. As a young feminist, it is sometimes daunting to see, even after all of these years, how much there is still to be done in the space of gender equality. Whether it's pay equity, uh, violence against women, or a lack of representation, it is frustrating to see we are still fighting the same battles as the generations before us. In times like this, in order to move forward, I think it's important to look back and see how far we have come. I acknowledge that this is because of the courageous women who have fought and sacrificed for our right to vote. Did they give up in the face of adversity? No. Instead, they led the change worldwide. We, as women, have to use our vote, our voice, our chair at the table to pave the path for the generation ahead of us. There is still a long journey ahead of us, but we will not grow tired in our fight for a more equal Aotearoa. Suffrage means to feel like my presence matters in a room when I'm with other um, nationalities, predominantly white nationalities, that my voice is heard and that I'm not sort of disappearing in the background and that I'm relevant. I'm relevant, whether it's in my workspace, in creative spaces, just walking down the street, how I'm judged, there's a long way to go as far as um, rights for Pacifica women in New Zealand, in Aotearoa, we all know that. For me, it's uh, about the right to have a voice, but also to be heard and to feel like that matters in a society that possibly has shut that out for a while. It means getting a position based on merit rather than based on race. I know um, in workspaces and job applications and job positions that I've applied for that I have been judged based on my race and my ethnicity. As a, a Pacifica woman, I've been valued as less. I've had white men talk over me and white women thinking that they know better than me without even hearing my voice. Women's suffrage to me means the right to be heard, the right to add value, the right to be seen, and the right to own that space. Well, suffrage means the right to vote, the right to fight, the right to protest, and the need to carry the flag. It's about equal rights, it's about non-discrimination, it's about carrying the flag of democracy, and it's about the treaty, ensuring that uh, the third article of the treaty is carried out. I believe that being a suffragette is forever. So during my life I have endeavoured to promote equal rights and civil rights. My background is one of a Jewish background. My family was affected dramatically by one man who managed to gain power and wipe out millions, many of my family simply because uh, civil rights were denied and of course the right to vote and even the right to keep a cat. During my life I have uh, endeavoured to ensure that for example in 1977 that there was child care uh, through my thesis for women to enable them to work. During the, the 70s uh, I was an active participant in the um, women's movement and uh, elected in 1977 and through that privilege of having the vote through Kate Shepherd, through then the National Council of Women and all those women who came before me who protested, I was able to ensure in the mid 80s that women who were still denied the vote because they were not ratepayers became um, able to vote. In the mid-90s, I was able to ensure through an article that to help MMP and the women's right to stand in many numbers, many more numbers in Parliament. I myself stood for Parliament when there were only four women in Parliament. I was fortunate enough to be the first woman Deputy Mayor and not only was I then able to vote, but I was able to stand up and be counted and to ensure that Wellington became a nuclear weapon-free zone. Now we have the issue of climate action. Through protests, women leading once again. 
Finally, um, suffrage is about, for me, it is about democracy. It is about upholding civil rights. It is about being ever vigilant and flying the flag that Kate Shepherd and the National Council of Women a little later um, held uh, for all of us today. Thank you. Suffrage to me, it's a bit of a complex answer. Growing up, I British Asian, so to me I heard about uh, what was going on in British suffrage, about civil disobedience, about the force feeding in prisons. I had no idea until I moved to Aotearoa that the women of New Zealand had secured the right 25 years ahead of us. And I had no idea the cost it had come to for Wahini Maori. And as I learned more about suffrage and more about the history of NCWNZ, it's become quite clear to me that we have a responsibility to elevate the stories that haven't been told because part of our history has not been inclusive and that's what I feel as a responsibility for as a leader in NCW and I guess it's just sort of my own history. It's a privilege to be able to vote. In Asia and in many of the countries around the world, women don't get the right to vote. And sometimes I take it for granted that I can do things, something as simple as casting my vote and being able to choose who I vote for as well. So for me, suffrage is only half the story. We need to champion the other voices that haven't been told. We need to figure out what the rest of the story is. We need to repair any damage we may have done um, by not including those voices to begin with. And that's what suffrage, I guess, means to me. Suffrage, well, for our whanau, it starts way back when Mere Te Tai uh, she stood for us, for Wahine Māori, to represent us in the Kotahitanga Parliament and to make sure that the Queen herself heard our voices and made sure that our voices were valued. So therefore, in 2020, suffrage for me is carrying on with that legacy and making sure that my nieces, my sisters, my mokopuna, my children, they are aware of the fight that she fought. Making sure that in the work that I do and making sure that our communities have access to democracy through voting in the general election, that that's equitable and that everybody across the board has access to that no matter where they're from, where they live, what sports they play, uh, what gender they, they want to believe that they are and that they live to be. That's what suffrage means to me.